Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on apex beat. The normal cardiac impulse or apex beat should be felt in the left fifth intercostal space in the midclavicular line over an area 2 to 3 cm squares in diameter. The normal impulse is described as a brief outward thrust occurring in early systole and will disappear before second heart sound is heard. It coincides with isovolumetric contraction. First abnormality I will talk about is the displaced apex beat. A displaced apex beat usually implies that the impulse is felt lateral to the midclavicular line or more distally. It is often associated with skeletal abnormality, such as scoliosis or pectus excavatum. Left ventricular enlargement of any cause, where the apex is usually displaced downwards and laterally. Right ventricular enlargement of any cause, where the apex is displaced laterally. Cardiomyopathies and dilatation of the heart, congestive heart failure, and valvular heart disease. Other less common conditions are situs inversus dextrocardia or isolated dextrocardia, and intrathoracic disorders like tension pneumothorax, and large right pleural effusion. For its mechanism, the displacement of the apex bead is related to changes in the heart size, whether via hypertrophy of the muscle, due to aortic stenosis and left ventricular hypertrophy, or dilatation of the heart, due to dilated cardiomyopathy, or displacement of the heart, due to tension pneumothorax. With enlargement or dilatation of the heart, the apex moves laterally or downwards. The second abnormality is a double or triple impulse apex beat, which is the sensation on palpation of the apex beat, that there are two or three impulses felt during a cardiac cycle. This is associated with hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, and aortic stenosis. For its mechanism, in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a combination of a stiff thickened myocardium, with or without left ventricular outflow tract obstruction, leads to higher left ventricular and left atrial end diastolic pressures. A forceful atrial contraction can be felt, one ripple. A sensation of outward systolic thrust with rapid ejection early in systole is then palpated, second ripple. Then a sustained late slow ejection of blood from the ventricle can be sensed, third ripple. The mechanism in aortic stenosis is similar with hypertrophy of the myocardium secondary to the stenosed aortic valve. A left ventricular outflow tract obstruction, however, is not present. Third abnormality, hyperdynamic apical impulse, or volume loaded. On palpation of the precordium, the apex beat will be diffuse, with a large amplitude, but quickly disappearing. This is classically associated with situations of volume overload and hypermetabolic states. The more common causes are aortic and mitral regurgitation, thyrotoxicosis, sympathetic nervous system activation, and anemia. Whereas the less common causes include patent ductus arteriosus, and ventricular septal defect. For its mechanism, in hyperdynamic states, the impulse felt is simply an exaggeration of the normal cardiac beat. In volume overloaded states, the Frank-Starling mechanism produces a more forceful ventricular contraction. The fourth abnormality is left ventricular heave, or sustained apical impulse, or pressure-loaded apex. This is used to define an apex beat that is hollow systolic in nature, that lasts through systole to second heart sound. This is classically seen in pressure-loaded states, such as hypertension, aortic stenosis, and hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. Other less common causes are, dilated heart, or after myocardial infarction. For its mechanism, in order to compensate for the increased pressure load on the left ventricle, the ventricle enlarges in size, making it more likely to be palpable. In conditions of increased afterload, ejection of blood out of the left ventricle is prolonged throughout systole, giving the impression of a sustained impulse through DAS2. Lastly, we look at the tapping apex beat. A tapping apex beat is a short, sharp systolic tap felt where the apex beat would normally be. It is the palpable equivalent to a loud first heart sound. This is associated with mitral stenosis. One suggested mechanism is that reduced ventricular filling caused by stenosis over the mitral valve, results in a shortened outward movement of the apex, which creates the short, sharp tapping quality. An alternative theory is that the stenosed valve provides an obstruction to blood flow into the left ventricle, resulting in elevated left atrial pressures, which delay mitral valve closure. Instead of slowly gliding shut, the thickened leaflets are slammed, closed under higher pressure at the start of systole, resulting in a palpable ass one. That's all for this video. Thank you.